Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and uh, Aquarius Rising weekly tarot reading, June tenth to uh, June sixteenth, two thousand and nineteen. Uh, and bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> All right, so the first card which represents the topic for Aquarius this week, that is going to be the Five of Pentacles. Followed by the second one, which is uh, the challenge that you need to overcome for throughout the week, that is going to be the Ten of Swords. Followed by the next one, which is the positive aspect of the week for you, Aquarius, that is to be the uh, Wheel of Fortune. And the last one, which is the guidance for you that Tarot has for the week that is to be the tower card. All right, so once again, five of, pent five of pentacles is the topic, followed by the uh, 10 of swords, which is the challenge. Afterwards, we do have the wheel of fortune, which stands for the positive aspect. And the last one is going to be the tower card, which is the guidance. Right, so uh, Aquarius, this week, although the first couple of cards are rather ominous and eerie, um, as everybody who is just a little bit into tarot knows that the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords are not exactly very pleasant cards, well, the, the week is going to be as difficult as you make it because um, your astute sense of when you need to draw the line is going to be tested. Okay, well, when you when you just have to say stop, okay, and uh, rearrange your priorities into a, a different um, into a different direction, that will be the challenge itself to draw the line uh, in a field or in a phase where you are experiencing quite a lot of difficulties, maybe trifles at the point, but there are quite a lot of them. And you simply need to make a retrospection. So uh, the Five of Pentacles here, which is the topic itself, it does represent this structure of uh, difficulties, which one is experiencing on multiple fronts. And uh, these, uh, these difficulties are likely to make one quite um, unsure or rather like un insecure into, uh, into their field where those difficulties are taking place. For example, you may um, face a lot of difficulties uh, into your relationship and that could throw you into a, a uh, state where you can start seriously doubt is your partner loves you or is this relationship is meant to be and uh, etc. etc. Same thing could uh, take place as well into your career. Now, the worst thing that you can do throughout the week here, uh, Aquarius, is to act emotionally on the, uh, upon the situation. The best way how one can deal with the Five of Pentacles is if one clings more toward the uh, the practical sense of that one can have. You know, think logically of how you can deal with those issues and how you can deal with those trifles. 
Uh, and as soon as you do so, as soon as you show that mental clarity, you know, and mental strength and you and you clinch yourself on it, uh, then f uh, most likely, you know, resolution to the majority of those trifling uh, problems is going to be uh, found. But for that reason, you need to be able to say no, you need to be able to draw a line um, because if these uh, these insecurities, for example, were forced into your relationship, then probably this is because your partner into the relationship, it's, it's they are, uh, how do you say, it? They, they forgot themselves and they did things that you probably um, expressed that you don't want them to do and so on and so forth. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the... the um, the death card formation it is a uh, passive uh, passive friends uh, that we have and uh, those uh, standpoints of uh, of insecurity and um, insecurity and how what is the other word that i'm trying to say here it is on the it is on the verge of my tongue and i, I just can't figure it out um well, let's stick with the insecurity. So the these this process of insecurity is gonna make you much more uh, vigilant and as well much more prepared uh, for a, a future similar circumstances that are arising right now. So just to give you an example of it, let's say that you do have the uh, a problems in between you and your husband, let's say or a wife, uh, are starting to take place, and instead of freaking out about it, you know. Uh, it will be best that you confront those uh, those issues and you will see that your partner is willing to work uh, work out them uh, with you. I mean, cumulatively work those issues out so you can sustain that relationship that you do have. And uh, as you do so further down the road, as the death card comes as a catalyst here, most likely such an issues are not going to be a problem anymore if they arise further down the road. But for that reason, the challenge itself here is going to be the, the Ten of Swords. And in your case, Aquarius, it's about drawing the line and it's about recognizing when one is crossing a certain boundaries where which boundaries one should not cross at all. And in order for you to act upon this card, you have to be very strong. I mean, you cannot do it really in a gentle way. Uh, for example, um, <clears throat> trying to suggest to your wife or a husband that they are doing something wrong by trying to send them sing signals. This ain't gonna work. I mean, you have to address the issue straight away with its true name. In other words, to say the truth just as the truth is. Because if there is more than one way to say something, then it's not truth, all right? The, the truth, it is only one, and there is only one way to say it, and that is the straight way. The accompanied card of the Ten of Swords here that is going to be the tree of pentacles formation it is a uh, <clears throat> an active enemies that we have and actually this is a quite favorable um formation because the tree of pentacles weakens the uh the negative impact of the ten of swords and probably this is going to be a big wake up call to either a colleague of yours that you are to confront to your boss or to your uh, partner into your relationship that they really need to start talking with you and uh, that it cannot be always their way and that they are really uh, crossing a certain boundaries here which they should not cross. Are they going to be regretful of it? Uh, most likely, but now a certain measures needs to be taken in order those boundaries are not going to be crossed once again. Because you need to know that should you um, hope or rather like leave the matters to be solved on their own accord, then most likely the Ten of Swords is going to hit you with its full negative impact. And when the Ten of Swords does that, usually things break. Like the relationship is going to break, you're going to get fired or demoted uh, or betrayed and these kind of stuff. So you have to address the issue straight away as soon as the issue arises. Now, um, your initial thoughts on how you can resolve the issue could be quite biased. And uh, that's why we have the Wheel of Fortune here as a, a positive aspect of the week. 
And uh, that's why I said that you should approach the situation not from an emotional standpoint, but rather from a, um, a mental standpoint. Because the more you talk about it and the more you try to figure out a, a way how to resolve those misunder misunderstandings in between you and your partner, in between you and your boss or a co-worker, uh, the more a, a common ground is going to be found because the, the Wheel of Fortune points that there are going to be many options available for you how to reach a, a certain resolution. Uh, one of these options available actually is going to suit both of you um, in a very big extent. I don't want to say that it's going to be an, an ideal situation, but it's going to be pretty, pretty close into it. Another thing that the Wheel of Fortune is telling to us is that this, uh, these uh, trifling problems that are arriving, or that are arising, excuse me, are actually in arising, are arising in a very favorable time. And that you, right now, as you deal with them, they cannot escalate further into the future. So uh, from a grand scheme of things, what is happening to you throughout the week, even if it doesn't seem that it is very pleasant, it is actually very, very beneficial. And the accompanied card to the Wheel of Fortune, that is to be the Six of Pentacles formation. It is a passive, uh, it is a active uh, neutrals, excuse me. And with the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Pentacles, you can really turn out the course of the events, meaning a course toward a imminent breakup rather or imminent job loss into a to sustain it as a, a prolonged period of time. Uh, definitely you can alter your outcome with these couple of cards. It's just like I said, you have to approach the situation very open-minded, you know, and uh, with with a mental standpoint rather than a an, an emotional standpoint. One more thing I want to say about these cards, guys, is that um, no one can really give you an advice and help you into this situation that you're going to find yourself at and you will have to provoke your own opportunities, which are not going to be very difficult. But like I said, your initial impulse here with the Ten of Swords needs to be rather quite drastic and you need to probably going to slam on the table and say, no, it's not going to be like that. I mean, it, 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 this doesn't serve me anything and etc. etc. instead of giving it a silent treatment, hoping that the person that you are having that situation with is are going to have a change of heart. They, they ain't going to have a change of heart. So the last card that we do have for your queries, that is going to be the Tower card, and that is the Guidance. So Tower card is more like a, um, well, how can I describe it? Well, the Tower card points that you are going to avoid a, a big disaster here because uh, you will have the opportunity to build up whatever this, whatever these events are taking place from scratch based on your own image. Take it like this, okay? So let's say that these problems are arising into your career. So you can completely uh, bring down uh, your positions into your career so you can rebuild them back into a much more stronger fashion. If I have to express it more, um, uh, what was the word here, figuratively, let's say that you are going to have full control upon the chaos that is to happen around you, which chaos is um, creating those trifling problems and uh, as you taking control upon uh, the chaos itself, you know, you can uh, alter your outcomes, just like I said, but with the Tower card, it's more like an, an avoiding a disaster. So the way I see it here is that you are to address those issues in their very initial state before they can actually uh, escalate and snowball down the road. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Judgment and the Formation it is a active uh, supporters that we do have and the Judgment only points that you are going to be forewarned for uh, for this for what a kind of a disaster could arise and uh, therefore you will have the time to prepare and to take the necessary measures that is uh, to avoid it however once again you have to be pretty drastic with your initial approach toward it and you need to acknowledge it as well that that is exactly what is happening because sometimes people are um, 
are in a process of denial. They are saying, no, this, this ain't happening to me. Just to give you an example, you may find out that your girlfriend is texting with someone, all right? They are not having, they, they didn't have sex yet. They didn't haven't met yet, you know, but they're just texting, all right? And you have to address the issue instead of, you know, giving it a silent treatment and hoping that they are, they are gonna stop texting. Okay, so you're gonna avoid disaster and you will be able to rebuild up uh, your relationship uh, back again and bring it to its feet be before it is way too late. So that being said, uh, Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading, June 10th to June 16th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, I hope that we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.